The community's needs were very complicated because our community had needed a venue for dance, theater, and of course any kind of music from classical recitals to zydeco bands. Uh, and on top of that, we wanted to create a venue that would allow us to create some earned income. If you run small theaters, you may know and understand that ticket sales don't necessarily make money. Uh, as a matter of fact, without underwriting, usually you can't make even break even. So um, we wanted to create modular, flexible space, <clears throat> but we wanted to create space from the get-go that is top-notch and sound quality, can be used as a recording space and uh, potentially even as a film, uh, green screen, sound stage, etc. And um, that was very dear to us. So we ended up with uh, Alan Eskew, Eskew Dumas Ripple, uh, uh, architecture firm in New Orleans, designing this building and bringing in two very, very important players, theater project consultants out of Connecticut and um, acoustics, an acoustics firm, consulting firm also out of Connecticut. They're really two of the finest and biggest firms in the world that do these types of projects. So they um, uh, designed a room for us that is completely modular. The entire room can turn into a flat floor space. It has a seating pit with uh, individually adjustable risers that allows us to create anything from auditorium style seating to a flat floor to a theater in the round where the stage is in the center and take seats and move them to the other side of the room, play to the center. Um, or even to a thrust stage where the stage is kind of extended in a catwalk formation into the room. To um, accompany that on the technical end, we have a grid of catwalks and rigging systems throughout the entire room to, to uh, allow for this modular use. Last but not least, we created a room that also features some level of adaptive acoustics. Because again, if you think about the difference between a hall that is good for a classical guitarist like myself, or a spoken word, a, pl a play, uh, where you want some very lively acoustics, uh, to a loud rock or zydeco show or even a jazz show where you want to have very dry acoustics and have more control over the uh, PA system. Um, we wanted to accommodate that, so we have a system of flying wall panels that can be dropped with a, a motor winch that completely dry up and change the sound of the room as well as some, some backdrop curtains, etc. But it doesn't end there. One of the, the most amazing things about this room is perhaps, perhaps its noise rating. It's uh, rated NC15, which is a sound rating that makes it quieter than most recording studios in the country. So when you're in there, <clears throat> to put it in perspective, um, you could have a fire truck with sirens going outside the building and you won't hear a single thing. On three sides of the theater box itself, we created basically airspace where you have to go through sets of double doors to enter the space to again create this completely quiet room. Every uh, duct, every water pipe even in this building is hung on isolators. It's on spring mounts, so there's no transmission of any kind of vibration into the room. Uh, um, and uh, on three sides of the building, we've created what's called acoustical joints. The vertical walls of the theaters, uh, of the theater, do not connect to the floors or ceilings of the rest of the building at all. They're completely freestanding. There literally is a two-inch gap between them. In addition to that, we, we were, um, if you think about our location with cities like Lafayette and Baton Rouge and New Orleans sitting on this I-10-12 corridor, there are great opportunities to grab uh, touring acts that are on their way from Texas to Florida, whatever and uh, we wanted to make this a very accessible house. So we created a loading dock where a tour bus or a 18-wheeler can pull into. Um, load, a loadout is very simple, there's a large um, hydraulic system and then you have a flat roll in about 15 feet onto stage, so there's no lifting, nothing. It cuts hours out of setup time. We have two company switches, big electrical boxes that supply all the power you ever need. We have cable passes throughout every wall in this building in multiple ways, in multiple um, locations, where you can run either broadcast cables or power cables literally through the walls and completely sound insulated. Um, in addition to that, um, the loading dock is equipped with a full ventilation system, a fresh air system, so you could park your broadcast van, for instance, in there, keep the engine running to power your generators, and uh, not die of carbon monoxide poisoning, which is always a good thing if you're trying to broadcast. So, so it's a, a really, I think, a, a very attractive venue for touring companies. Uh, we created a wonderful back of house. I, I'm a classical performer, I lived most of my life on stage and in, in back of houses and you'd be shocked if you see the backstage even at venues like Carnegie Hall. It's not a very pretty thing. And uh, I think we created a back of house that's very attractive. Uh, showers, fully handicapped accessible, uh, handsome dressing rooms, spacious environments, beautiful green room. And uh, again, broadcast patches everywhere so we can literally uh, broadcast out of every part of the venue. It's a very special room we're very proud of. Um, I think it will serve the community really well because it does so many things very, very well.